What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is a very cool feature coming to Google Pixel phones. First it's going to come to the 4A, 4A 5G and the Pixel 5 and then it'll roll out to other Pixel phones beyond that. But what it is, it's going to be an update to Google Fit on March 8th and you're going to be able to check your heart rate and your respiratory rate. And the way that you're going to do this is you'll open up the Google Fit app on your Pixel phone. And then if you wanna check your heart rate, what you're gonna do is use the back camera and you literally block the back camera with your finger and just follow the instructions on Google Fit and it'll check your heartbeat that way and spit out a number and you can save it within the Google Fit app. Again, these are Pixel exclusives. You could probably do this in other phones, but for now they're Pixel exclusives. The other one is, I just have to look, respiratory rate and the way that one will work, use your front camera and you need to angle the camera in a way so that uh, it can see your uh, uh, waist all the way up and it's gonna measure your breathing rate and then spit out a number. This is freaking cool. I mean, it's not, technology that you would be like, oh my God, it's only gonna work on Pixel phones. This really theoretically should work on almost any phone, but for now it's just Pixel phones in you know maybe six months or a year, maybe we'll see it on other phones, but this is freaking super cool to not have an actual built-in sensor like we used to in the old, you know, Samsung phones, you know, like you have, like you could check your, your you know, pulse or whatever with a, 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 a sensor there. You can literally do it with the camera. It's more functional, more accessible, it's pretty cool. And the last story of the day is from the Iceman himself on Twitter, and it's all about new Samsung watches, which I know a lot of you are excited about getting watches. Why not? You love these smartwatch things, so you can check your notifications, your health, and work out in them, and you know you communicate and control your music and other things on there. Let's talk about the next watches and what they're going to be called from Samsung. Again, this tweet comes from Ice Universe saying the Galaxy Watch 4 and the Galaxy Watch Active 4, those will be the names, Watch Galaxy Watch 4 and Watch Active 4, are going to be coming out in quarter two. So you're looking at, that's quarter two, you're looking at the April, May, June time frame right around the corner guys we're in march right now so you're looking at next month or may or june so somewhere in the next three months or so you should be getting new watches if you're interested in so if you're you know if you don't need a watch right now you might want to hold off and see what we get with these uh watch fours maybe they'll have some extra features maybe they'll be better um they should be running on google remember instead of tizen which has been the previous not that tizen's bad or anything but if they're running on google you're going to get the google apps now and probably the Samsung app, so you're gonna have a bigger ecosystem. So, could be a better thing overall. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, new videos every single day. My question out to you guys is, do you love smartwatches? Let me know in the comments down below, and if you do, do you use one every single day? I've said in the past, I've had one. I just, it just doesn't really fit into my life. It seems like a hassle to have to put it on my wrist every day. And, I don't know. I'm just not into them right now. I, five years ago, I had them. I have like pictures of me holding, wearing a watch, a smartwatch. But now I'm just, I'm just, I don't know, not really into them. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. See you down the road.